Hello everyone this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding In this tutorial I will show you how to create your own PDF viewer using pdf.js So without any further ado let's get started All the links used inside this video are mentioned inside the description section We have included a script tag of pdf.js javascript file inside our head section First of all let's create our HTML layout Create canvas with ID of PDF canvas. Then create previous, next, zoom in and zoom out buttons with the respective ID. Then create a span tag with all the page detail. Now let's create a strip tag. Inside it add pdfjs library dot get document function. Add file location which is in this case inside our same folder. Then add promise and add then function inside it. We can now read a file then we can console log our document data. To run this file we are using line server extension which you can get it on VS Code extension store. Oh, we need to type pdfjs library function. Here we can see that all the data has been loaded. Now we can set our total page using document dot num page. Here we can see that total page number has been shown. Let's now create variable PDF document which will hold our PDF document.
then create variable page number which will be 1 that means it will show first page when loaded. Then page rendering which will tell that if the page should render or not while changing page. Then create page number pending which will render upcoming page while changing page. Then add scale which will scale our canvas viewport. Then canvas we will get using document element by ID PDF canvas. Then set context as 2D. Let's create render page which will have page number as input. Inside it, we will add page rendering to true. Then we use PDF document function inside it, use get page function. This will give rendered page as an output. Then set a viewport to our page. Then set our canvas same as height and width of viewport. Then create a render context variable inside it, we set canvas context as context and viewport as viewport. We can now render our page using render function and render context inside it. Inside our render task, we need to render upcoming page. If we have any, then we can stop rendering. Finally, at the end, we can set current page number. Now finally we are using function render page inside the get document function and we are putting inside the page number which has been set one earlier. Oh, we need to type viewport small letter. Now let's add functionality of Q rendering page.
Inside this function, we check if the page rendering then set page number pending variable to page number or else we use render function add page number inside it. Now let's create previous page function. We can check if page number is less than 1, we return, else we return page then queue render page and add page number inside it. Then we set out function previous page to previous button inside the HTML using add event listener. Similarly, we can create next page function. Here, we can see that our function is working and page is changing. Now let's create zoom out and zoom in function. To do so, we simply need to change the scale factor when click button. So finally, we can see that a PDF viewer is working. I really hope that you liked this video. For now, I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you in the next video.